Remember the high school hallways filled with quirky characters and relatable teenage struggles. Square Pegs brought that world to life in the early 80s, offering a fresh take on the classic high school sitcom. Behind the scenes, lesser known tidbits about this cult favorite show add intriguing layers to its legacy. Did you know the series was Sarah Jessica Parker's breakout role? Or that its creator, Ann Beats, drew from her own experiences to craft the authentic, sometimes awkward teenage narratives? These fascinating details breathe new life into the nostalgia of Square Pegs. Now your turn. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this iconic show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the Square Peg spirit alive. The TV series Square Pegs, a creation of Ann Beats, drew inspiration from her own life experiences. Set in a high school backdrop, the show revolved around the lives of students navigating the complexities of teenagehood. The filming location, the abandoned Excelsior High School in Norwalk, California, served as the show's setting, echoing the vibes of a school in an industrial area. Interestingly, this location was also used for Grease 2, but the cast revealed the challenges they faced due to the surrounding factories, emitting an unpleasant odor during outdoor shoots. Notably, the character dynamics underwent changes during casting. John Fimia was initially chosen for the role of Johnny Slash, but was later reassigned to Marshall Bletchman due to a mismatch with the character's original portrayal. Femia's knack for comedy led to a reimagining of Marshall's personality, transforming him from a computer geek into a class clown who excelled in impressions. These behind-the-scenes insights into the casting decisions and the show's inspiration shed light on the creative process and the adaptations made to shape the characters and setting of the series. Behind the scenes of the show created by Ann Beats, there existed an unforeseen narrative of downfall. Among the youthful cast, a shadow was cast by the prevalence of drug abuse, which ultimately contributed to the series meeting an abrupt end. Beats herself hinted at this somber reality back in the mid-2010s, suggesting that drug use might have sadly been a regular occurrence on the set. Adding to this revelation, Gerald Kazale from the band DeVoe echoed similar sentiments around 2009, underscoring instances of drug use among the young women in the cast and unwelcome advances made towards them. These revelations threw a stark light on the off-screen issues that plagued the production, significantly altering the trajectory of what could have been. The challenges faced behind the scenes became part of the show's narrative in an unexpected and regrettable way. This untold aspect adds depth to the story of the series, revealing complexities beyond what appeared on screen. It's a reminder that the creation of art often comes with its own set of trials and tribulations. Amy Linker underwent a physical transformation for her role as Lauren Hutchinson in the TV series. She had to wear fake braces and a fat suit to embody the character. This was a significant part of her portrayal, adding depth to Lauren's personality. The commitment to this transformation reflects the dedication of the actors to bring authenticity to their roles, even if it meant undergoing such changes. This aspect of the show's production sheds light on the efforts made behind the scenes to create believable characters, contributing to the show's overall impact. In the competitive world of television casting, interesting dynamics often shape the fate of characters. Take, for instance, the auditions for the role of Johnny Slash in the 1982 TV series Square Pegs. Aidan Quinn, initially in the running, faced the fate of being deemed too old for the part, leading to Merritt Butrick eventually securing the role. This behind-the-scenes glimpse into the casting process highlights the intricate decisions that contribute to the final composition of a show. Beyond casting nuances, the camaraderie between cast members is a notable aspect. Tracy Nelson and Claudette Wells, both facing unique challenges with their hairstyles, bonded over their shared frustrations. Nelson's new wave cut and Wells' quest for braids and beads resulted in the necessity of wigs to maintain consistency. Little did they know that their hair woes would turn into a lifelong friendship, adding an unexpected layer to the interpersonal dynamics behind the scenes. These anecdotes shed light on the often overlooked details that shape a TV series. From casting choices that alter character trajectories to the unanticipated friendships formed amidst hair challenges, square pegs, though set in the fictional world of high school complexities, carried its own set of real-world intricacies behind the camera. In the early days of casting for the TV series, Sarah Jessica Parker's journey to securing the role of Patty faced an unexpected twist. Initially dismissed as too pretty by the producers, a fortunate incident involving sunglasses 
and a casting director's intervention turned the tide. On the first day of auditions, Parker, the first actor to step in, got a second chance when the producers, removing the lenses from the sunglasses, reevaluated their decision. This serendipitous turn of events led to Parker landing the part of Patty. The casting process for Square Pegs proved to be a mix of serendipity and meticulous decision-making. While some actors faced challenges for being considered too pretty, others navigated the intricacies of initial character choices. Amy Linker, who portrayed Lauren Hutchinson, underwent a physical transformation, donning fake braces and a fat suit to bring depth to her character. This commitment to authenticity showcased the dedication of the actors to their roles, revealing the effort invested behind the scenes. Beyond casting nuances, the camaraderie among the cast members played a pivotal role. Tracy Nelson and Claudette Wells, dealing with unique challenges related to their hairstyles, found an unexpected bond. Hair troubles turned into lifelong friendships as Nelson's new wave cut and Wells' quest for braids and beads led to the use of wigs for consistency. These anecdotes shed light on the often overlooked details that shape square pegs, adding real-world intricacies to the fictional high school world. In the competitive world of television casting, square pegs faced its share of interesting dynamics. Aidan Quinn, initially in the running for the role of Johnny Slash, found himself deemed too old, paving the way for Merritt Butrick to secure the part. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into casting decisions and the unexpected friendships formed amidst challenges contribute to the show's unique narrative. Square Pegs, though centered on high school complexities, carried its own set of real-world intricacies behind the camera. As we bid adieu to the world of quirky hallways, neon-lit lockers, and the unforgettable characters that made Square Pegs a timeless gem, let's take a moment to pause and ponder the resonance of this 1982 TV series in our lives. It's more than a blast from the past. It's a journey through the corridors of our own coming-of-age tales. Perhaps you find echoes of your teenage self in the eccentric misfits who navigated the perplexing landscape of high school. Maybe the awkward dance moves at the New Wave Club mirror your own attempts at fitting in. Square Pegs isn't just a show. It's a mirror reflecting the universal struggle to find our place in a world that often feels like a chaotic cafeteria. So, dear viewer, as the curtain falls on this nostalgic odyssey, we invite you to share your personal rendezvous with Square Pegs. What memories does it stir? Whose journey resonates most with yours? Did you ever have a Patty or Lauren moment that still elicits a smile or a cringe? Your stories, like hidden treasures, add depth to the legacy of this classic series. As we revel in the camaraderie of shared experiences, remember that Square Pegs transcends mere pixels on a screen. It's a thread woven into the tapestry of our lives. Share your anecdotes, reflections, and favorite moments. Let's celebrate the beauty of being a bit square in a world that often expects conformity. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic expedition with us. Your time and memories are the cornerstones of what makes this journey extraordinary. Until we rendezvous again in the corridors of reminiscence, keep those square pegs moments alive in your heart. Crafted with nostalgia and a touch of whimsy, this outrow was.